This is the story of how I met Little Flip. As you know I did a music video with Little Flip where he came through and we shot it at my spot. But there is some history behind that. It all started with an auction car that I purchased from the city of Dallas Auto Pound. I was trying to do music ever since high school but it was never something that had materialized. In the car that I bought there was a CD with the phone number of another rapper from Dallas, Texas. That other rapper was Little Peace. I had heard of him before but I didn't know anything about him. So I decided to message him and see about a feature and networking. He had a song that gained some traction called Hit the Dance Floor when Dallas was on its dance type stuff. I ended up paying this cat a lot of money for features and he used to talk about making moves in the game and used that to convince me to break bread with him. To be honest with you I was really just too young and had too much money at the time because he probably thought the money I gave him was a lot at the time but it was really chum change to me. He ended up telling me that he was down with Flip and said that it would cost 1500 for a feature. I paid it once and it went smoothly. The second time though, I kept waiting and waiting and nothing was being sent to me. The first track was Riding Slow. The second track that I was waiting a feature from Flip for was called Little Bit with Ghost Rider. This shows you that I was making and spending a lot of bread because I met Ghost through YouTube and I sent him $500 for that track which was the first track I ever did with him. So there I was waiting for Flip's verse and it wasn't coming so I decided to finally try to hit him up directly on Instagram. Well, Flip flipped out when he found out how much I was paying for the feature because he admitted he was only getting $300 for it. Little Peace was being a snake and pocketing a lot of money, but Flip ended up getting us on a three-way where Peace accused me of being the snake. To this day it is stupid because I was the only one breaking bread, and I broke more bread when Flip came through with a contract for the song to my house which is when I met him for the first time. At this moment I gave him 300 out of my own pocket when I had already paid 1500 to peace but I figured at least now I am dealing with the man directly and there is a contract which I have to this day. We ended up shooting the video at my spot and looking back the amount of money I spent was insane and ridiculous and over my dead body will I ever spend 1% of that on any rapper today. It does not bother me because I was just too new to the game and had too much money on my hands and did not know that people in this music stuff will really try to snake you. Another thing that I had paid Little Peace for was a deposit for a verse from Little Kiki and I also messaged Little Kiki directly. Little Kiki said he had no clue who this guy was and I ended up paying him directly and that is also how my song with Little Kiki came about. So there it is. Karma is real though because I have made all that money back through my publishing royalties and today I am way more relevant than peace with this music and I will be damned if I ever pay that type of money again. So there you have it. I flipped this whole thing and have taken a strict stance of there cannot be more money going out than money coming in. I had to start treating this like a business and be smart about it. Did I get played? Yes, but the lessons that I learned were priceless and I guarantee you the dude Peace blew through all of that money a long time ago and has nothing to show for it. God will bless those that are worthy of the blessings. And God has blessed me a lot throughout my life. With that being said I would never snake anybody that is trying to get put on and when I do charge it is never close to anything I ever spent and I make sure people that spend with me know exactly what they are getting. If you see me drop anything with people that I fell off with you have to realize it is my way of getting something out of it and making it not be a complete waste. This life has been hard on me and I have been through a lot of struggles and pain in my life and maybe that is why I have so much to say on music. 
I wish that I could pick up the phone some days and call God directly but I hope that no matter what when my time comes that he may have mercy on my soul and watch over those people that I leave behind.